Do you utilize Microsoft Teams? Well, let me show you how to enhance your collaboration and streamline your workflows with JotForm. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Microsoft Teams, this is going to be an amazing way to manage form submissions, automate tasks, and improve communication. And we're gonna do this by sending our form submissions to either our Teams channels, chats, or calendar. So as you can see, I'm currently in my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a form that I already have built. I have it named right down here, MS Chat. Let's go ahead and edit this form. And we can see it's a very basic form. It's name, email, phone number, appointment type, and then I have a long text box for what would you like to discuss? So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top I'm gonna head up to settings. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose integrations. And as you can see, Microsoft Teams is right up here at the top, but if you do not have Microsoft Teams at the top, definitely utilize the search option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Microsoft Teams. But as you can see, we have four different things that we can do. We can send messages to a standard channel. We can send a message to a private channel. We can send a chat message, or we can create a meeting within our calendar. Now, keep in mind, if you are utilizing this with JotForm Sign, you are not going to be able to create a meeting. You're just gonna have those top three available. Now, with that in mind, this integration does also work with our table action buttons, our PDF editor, and our smart PDF forms as well. So before we choose which one we're looking at, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my Microsoft team. And I'm currently in my team section where all of our chats are. And I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the HR team. So we can see that we have a general chat, we have a private chat, and then we have a shared one. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this one right here. So let's do send a message to a standard channel. And then we're going to go next. And as you can see, it already has my login information for Microsoft Teams. Now, if this is your first time getting this integrated, you're going to need to sign in to Microsoft Teams to get that authentication going. But I'm gonna go ahead and add our action. And up at the top, we're gonna select our team. We're gonna choose the HR team. And it has us choosing a standard channel. And if you remember, there are three. One of them was general. That was the one that was not private. So we can see that's the only one that's gonna pop up right here. And then we can customize the message title. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. So we have our form title. I'm gonna do a dash and I'm gonna pull from our form fields. We'll choose the name. And we can also add form fields to the message. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the appointment information and also what would you like to discuss as well. And we can also add some action buttons. We can view a submission and we can also edit the submission. And we can see right here, send a new message when a submission has been edited. Let's go ahead and save. Perfect, now if we come up here, if for any reason we need to edit what we just did, we can choose this edit option. But we also have these three dots right here. We can see an action log so once it has been running for a while we can come back here and we can see how many times it has run we can rename it disable it or delete it so let's go ahead let's give this a preview and we'll do fill form and we'll come down here and we will choose we'll go ahead and do the 26 at 11 o'clock let's go ahead and submit perfect head back over to our team channel in our general and here we see we have that appointment type and we have what she would like to discuss now as you can see the 26th, if we come over to our calendar from 11 to 12, we can see that she is not in here because we did not choose that as the option. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna head back over. Let's jump out of preview. Let's add a new action. And this time, let's go ahead and create a meeting. We'll choose next, add that action. And we have the ability to edit that overall meeting title. So again, I'm gonna do the form title and I'm gonna choose their name again. So add the required attendees, it's gonna to go to their email. Our start time is gonna be from our appointment and then we'll have it be a 45 minute meeting. And then we can also add the form fields to the message just like before. I'm gonna go ahead and add what would you like to discuss. And again, we can also create a new meeting when a submission is edited. Let's save this. And let's give this another try, preview the form. And we'll do fill form. And we'll choose the 26 again and let's do four o'clock and submit. Perfect, let's head back over to our calendar and come, well, I just saw a pop up right over here. So Karen Jones, perfect. Now, if we come back over to our team, is also gonna be over here in our chat history. So let's go ahead and head back over to JotForm. We'll jump out of our preview option. We can add a new action in here. The private channel is going to be the exact same thing as a standard channel. It's just going to populate that private channel instead of the general. So let's go ahead and do send a chat message. We'll do next, add an action. And we'll do select channel. And here is where we can send a direct message one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do JotForm admin and we'll do the same thing again. 
put the name there. We'll do the description as what you would like to discuss. We'll allow both of these. Let's do save and we'll do preview form and fill form. And we'll choose two o'clock for this one. Submit. Perfect. Let's jump out of preview form, head over to our Microsoft and we come down to our chat. And right here under JotForm Admin, we have our chat. We have Janessa Cemento. We have what she would like to discuss. And this is going one on one with this person. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your JotForm with Microsoft Teams, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.